What's up guys? It is a lovely day here. I have this whole oval to myself and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some smash moves in real life. Now everything I'm doing today is pretty easy, pretty safe, but obviously know your limits. I don't want to see any unfortunate SDs out there. But hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know how to do some pretty easy smash moves in real life for yourself. Let's go. So the first move we're going to be doing is going to be snakes dash attack. First thing we're going to need to do is a forwards roll, okay? So hopefully you've done one of these before. But if you haven't, pretty easy, shouldn't be too hard. So put your hands on the floor, look between your legs, and then tuck your head in, round your back, and roll over. If you haven't done this before, do it so many times that it feels easy and comfortable for you. This goes for every step pretty much today. If you can't do the next step, go back, do the last one 50 times, come back, it'll be easy after that. If your forwards roll is not very smooth, if it looks something like this, practice it a few more times because the next step is probably going to hurt if you don't have it nice and smooth yet. The next move, if we're going to turn into a snake's dash attack, is going to be doing a little jump into it. Just a little bit of a jump, okay? So it's super important that you're putting your hands on the floor here so that you can kind of catch your landing, cushion it a bit, and you don't just land flat on your back, okay? So we're getting kind of close now. What we're going to do is add a bit more speed, a bit more jump height, and then you're going to have your snake dash attack. So start walking into it. Once that feels easy, you can run into it if you're feeling super confident. And then you just got to build that jump height and distance. And then you've pretty much done it. Easy as that. That's your first smash move. Down. All right, the next move we're going to do is a Mario down tilt. Now, this might seem pretty lame, you know, you think it doesn't look very cool by itself, but you just have to trust me, I'm going to teach you how to do it, and I'm going to convince you why it's cool and why you should learn it, okay? It's a pretty simple sweeping kick, should be pretty easy for everyone to do, but you're probably thinking, I don't really want to learn that because it looks lame. Well, let me tell you, is Mario down tilt a kill move, or is it a combo move? It's a combo move, and it works exactly the same in real life. So you're going to use this move to link your other moves together, okay? So it's really good for combining things together, making your own in real life combo. So there's a little combo using the Mario down tilt, the front sweeping kick, to kind of link two other moves together. Combo move, and it's super easy to learn. So now you think it's pretty cool, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So, I turn to the right, what are my moves? So I'm going to be kicking with my left leg. You turn to the left, which most people do, it's up to you, just give it a try, see what feels natural. You're going to be kicking with your right leg. So first up, I'm going to be crouching down on my right leg, and put my right hand down, like this, okay? So you'll see my left leg, the kicking leg, it goes out to the side. Pretty easy. And the great thing about this move, the reason I like it a lot, is because you can kind of just sit on your bum or on your knee as you're doing it. So, I'm going to get into that low position. You can sweep your leg around and then you finish facing the way you started, okay? So that was the super slow way of doing it, but it's still the move, yeah? You can practice nice and slow, get used to it, and then get back up facing the way you started. So, a bit faster, and then normal speed. So you get nice and low, and then pop back up, okay? So that's a Mario down tilt for you. Easy and really useful for your real life combos. All right, the next one I'm gonna teach you might look like it's a big step up in difficulty, but I've worked out a way of making it nice and easy for you guys. It's gonna be Captain Falcon's backwards roll. Shout out to Nintendo for showing us this one in his Smash Moves in Real Life video, which is super awesome and was a big inspiration for me, okay? So Captain Falcon does, it's like he does a backflip, touching his hands down, but he's also kind of like on the side, and that might sound like it's really hard, but actually that makes it a little bit easier. 
because we can learn it by just using a cartwheel, okay? So a lot of you guys will have done cartwheels before. A lot of people learn it when they're really young. Maybe you haven't done it for a while. Maybe you've never done it before. Either way, I'm gonna teach you guys a really quick and easy way of learning it, and then it's up to you to practice it, okay? So I'm gonna quickly go over the steps. All right, so you're gonna step forward with one leg. You're gonna put the same hand forwards. You're gonna reach down with that hand. You're gonna lift your back leg up. So you're gonna look like this. Yeah. Then you're gonna put your other hand down. And then you're just gonna jump and swap your legs around. So at the moment, my right foot's touching. Then I jump and have my left foot touching. And I've just done my first really bad car wheel. That's okay. All you gotta do is practice that loads and loads of times until it feels really natural and see if you can get your legs to go straight over the top of you instead of kind of like lagging behind you. I'll show you guys what that progression might look like. Now to make it like Captain Falcon's roll here, we're gonna have to change a few things about the cartwheel, hey? Because it doesn't look quite right just yet. So what I'm gonna get you to do, once you're comfortable with your normal cartwheel, you're gonna start doing it backwards. Now that sounds really complicated, but it's not. Stand backwards, look over your shoulder. All right, I'm gonna cartwheel back that way, and then just do it. Still the same move, it's just changing which way you're facing at the start, okay? So, over my shoulder, and cartwheel. The next step is to do the same thing, but to be taking off both feet at once. So you're gonna be kind of jumping into your cartwheel now. The difficulty's ramping up a bit here, so if you're not comfortable yet, practice before that. Build up your strength, get used to the motion. Don't rush it, okay? But, so I'm gonna be taking off both feet and trying to cartwheel behind me, all right? You might need to use your arms to swing yourself over to give you that power, but again, shouldn't be too bad. Let's give that a go. So you can see it's getting pretty close to what we want, but it's not quite there yet. I'm landing sideways where Captain Falcon lands facing the way he came from. So I'm gonna try and do this backwards cartwheel and land facing the way I came from. And then I've completed the move, okay? It was never that scary. I didn't have to do a backflip or anything during it. Just a simple progression from a cartwheel. Let's see if I can do it. Falcon punch! Oh, it missed. Yes. <laughs> if you could do that one, I'm gonna give you a quick bonus move. If you go straight backwards over, which is called a back handspring. So if you're going straight backwards, which is a lot scarier, that's why this is a bonus move. I don't expect everyone to do this one. And then you split your legs on the way over. You're gonna be doing Bayonetta's witch time and her backwards roll, because they just look pretty much exactly the same. So if I can do this same move, straight backwards, split the legs, it's gonna be a witch time. Let's give that a go. If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. That's, that's my best Bayonetta impression. It, it's, it's not very good. All right, the last move we got is a Wii Fit Trainer double jump, where she basically just does a front flip. Now, this is not so much of a beginner move, so I wouldn't recommend learning it on grass. I'd recommend probably learning it on a trampoline and then transferring it. Just make sure you do have a soft landing if you're gonna try this one, or ankles of steel, e either one work, okay? So this one's very similar to our dive roll, our snake dash attack from before. But this time we're gonna be jumping up because we need to rotate twice as much in the air before we hit the ground if we actually have any hope of landing on our feet, okay? Now it's really important to have your arms above your head as you're jumping, okay? So, I know that feels weird. You're used to jumping like this probably, right? Swinging your arms by your sides to give yourself a bit of momentum. Whereas now you have to jump like this. I know it feels weird, but you need to do it to get the rotation for the flip, okay? That's super, super important. So taking off with your arms up. So you gotta jump with your arms up, get nice and high then pull down, grab your knees, and basically pray, okay? So you can see why I want you to have a soft landing for this. Because the first couple times you do it, you are not gonna know where you are. You're just gonna kinda come tumbling down, 
probably land on your butt or your back or your ankles or something. But you get used to it, and then once you know where you are, you can start landing it, okay? So, like I said, you probably want a soft landing for this one. Having a run-up for this, if you do intend on doing it on the ground, is super important. I'm gonna try one without a run-up, and I'll just put that here, and you can watch me 99% chance fail and land on my butt. Why did, I, why, why did I say I was gonna do this? I hate doing these. I can't, I can't do it. I'm gonna land on my butt. But running up does add a few elements and makes it a little bit more complicated. So it's a bit too complicated for this kind of video. So I'm going to show a slow motion one. Look at my footwork, see what I'm doing, and see if you can do that as well, okay? But you know what? Try it on the trampoline first, then you can work out the complicated parts later. I'm going to try and combine all the moves that I've tried to teach you guys today in one combo just for some fun to finish it off to see what kind of stuff you can do with it. So be creative out there and have fun. Good enough. So there you go. There's five moves from Smash that you can try yourself. Be careful out there if you do manage to do any of the tricks please do tag me in your Instagram story at PDWJumps. I'd love to see if you guys managed it, and see how you went, and I can give you some tips maybe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in Smash Moves next time.